Hello boys and girls and welcome to another episode of, uh, of the Ludic LP and uh, we're going to hop into noob ships. You can see this isn't the rupture that I've been missioning in. We're going to be going in noob ships. I've got a fleet here. We're currently waiting on Navigator here. Oh, I get it. Navigator. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to wander around low sec like I did in the last episode. And hopefully we'll actually blow something out of the sky. Ideally we'll blow something out of the sky. We'll probably get smushed quite quickly. Okay, so before we head out, I'm just going to go through a few quick checks. First of all, check the map. We've done this in a previous episode, but I'm just going to go over it again for you. Um, if you go here... Um, does that there we go we can see that more easily statistics is the one we want ships and destroyed in the last hour you can see in 2 one ship and in uh, Maritum four and three in Ransa so it looks relatively busy average pilots in space yeah it doesn't look so bad okay so there's no gate camp as far as I can tell so there's that and we do have another thing that we need to do you're gonna have to undock for this but basically we're gonna have to set up the overview um, the overview uh, of course being this thing down the side now we're gonna have to make a new profile tab thing and we'll call it PVP okay so we've got that and um, it's got a default PVP item there but that is not what we want. In fact, I've gone and done that on the wrong one, haven't I? So, PVE, there we go. Here, we want to load PVP. Load default PVP. Okay, but as I say, that's not quite right. So, you open the overview settings. And you don't want to see people who are in your fleet. And you don't want to see people in your corporation. You don't want to see people in your alliance. And you don't want to see people in your militia. Um, that was the background, so I've actually done this wrong. Um, what am I doing? Oh yes, filter. Is it filter? Uh, uh, yes, states. Um, so, we don't want... Where are we? Not in my militia, not in my fleet, not in my corporation, not in my alliance. Uh, so that only leaves in the overview people that... Uh, I should be attacking. Of course, I'm not actually attacking people right now because, well, I'm in the middle of uh, explaining all this to you. Oh dear, what's happening here? Oh, Ugh, whatever. Um, so that's just some random fight, and they're probably going to die. So. Yeah, give me a few moments and uh, we'll be off to heck. Well, that's us ready. Um, turns out there's only the three of us. A Cora Jacquard, Emily Nafil, I guess, and uh, Navigator. So, we're going to jump through. Sounds English. <laughs> um, so I'm going to jump through ahead. Um, I'm running as my own scout. Uh, normally, I recommend having someone else scout for you. Jump through and warp straight to the station. So yes, we've uh, we've jumped through to O2 now, and uh, there was that ship just there a moment ago. Um, he was kind of scary, and you can see they've started jumping through now. So there's two of them, oh all three, and now there's a whole bunch of reds in space. That's that's kind of scary. So we're gonna have the fleet window up. And there they are, jumping in. So 
we'll get some scanning done. See if we can't find something. Scan. Scan. Theme pending. Theme pending is active, so we can scan that down. That looks like it's at a moon. So we'll ignore that. Fail, Velita. Okay. And those were here on the last video, so I'm going to assume that those are um, ignorable. And you see here there's a distance. Uh, that's probably one of these guys. And it doesn't seem as though there's anything around here worth picking up on. Right, looks like there's no targets, so we're moving on to Miruitum. Warp to Miruitum, hold on the gate. So there is one word that you must never ever say when you're in a fleet and that is jump because only the fleet commander should ever say jump. You always get someone as soon as they hear the J word or even sometimes a word that just begins with J like um, Julia or jalapeno and that is not even a J sound it's just jalapeno um, they will jump they're crazy people and they should be shot except for when they're me because I do it all the time okay hold on gate uh, if you get aggress jump through um, but hold on for now there's a camp find some uh, stay there I'm gonna try to get safe Uh, dock up if you can, guys. And I'm going down. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, because there's nothing I'm going to be able to do at this point. And they're just... They're just shoot, uh, pointing at me, that's crazy. I want to go. Come on. And my pod has been warped, uh, warp scrambled as well. My pod's been warp scrambled, that's fun. Come on, try to get through. Are you guys safe? I've been killed. So there's my first loss ever. <laughs> uh, so make that active. Right, well I'm stuck in a mould at the moment, so I'm going to have to make my way back to you. Right, so a few things to go over. Um, first of all, if you look on your character sheet down here, you've got combat log losses. And these are all the ships that I've lost so far. You can see I've lost those ships and three ruptures. What you see this is the Reaper that I just lost. You double click on it, you get uh, a kill mail and it tells you all the information that it can regarding the the ship and you can see that uh, I lost most of the items or most of the items were destroyed but you can also see that uh, the capsule um, I lost all my implants as well so a huge camp
didn't show up on the map. Um, so yes, um, lost mails. You also get kill mails. As you can see, I've not actually killed anything. Um, but also, another thing to point out is that you actually lose skill points um, if you don't kill, keep your skill queue up there, your clone up to date. Uh, now, in one of my previous videos, someone told me how much it was. It was either 5% or 15%. Either way, it is a percentage, not a loss of the difference. Um, so as soon as I've docked up, I'll be um, I'll be setting up my new clone, um, and hopefully I won't have that kind of a loss again. So just as we're making our way back to O2, um, let's go over uh, some of the mistakes that were made there. Uh, first of all, have someone else scout. Um, the fleet has basically suffered a few minutes downtime because I had to go and refit um, because no one wants to be in a fleet for five minutes and then just go away. Um, I'll just blind jump into O2 here, but I should be fine. Yes, I'm fine. Um, let me show you my fit though. Um, two 200mm auto cannons, warp scrambler and a gyro stabilizer. That basically um, maximizes my damage output as much as I can. Um, okay, there's a few here. Let's see if I can get through this quickly. Go, 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 go. And yeah, I've warped off, so I'm through that. So there's my fleet. Okay guys, I'm going to check out Lamadent. Um, and hopefully there's no camp there either. It looks dead on the map. Okay, jump, jump, jump into Lamadent and, and warp straight to the, uh, to the station. So yes, uh, saying jump three times uh, basically just lets them be absolutely sure of what I'm saying. Um, so while we're in warp, get some scanning on. There's a Drake and a Talos. Uh, the Talos is a battle cruiser. It's kind of ugly. Um, and there's an Iteron. Uh, but it all seems to be focused around this station or another station. So we're going to get some scanning on. More scanning. And you can see the uh, fleet's making its way in. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything there. Okay, do you guys know how to use the uh, broadcasts at the bottom of the fleet window? <coughs> okay, basically, um, at the bottom of the fleet window you'll have a series of icons. Um, you've got the red eye, that is spotted an enemy. Um, the next three are for logistics. After that it's um, all positioning stuff. Um, if you see an enemy, uh, I want you to press the uh, red eye icon. And if you see someone broadcasting in the fleet window that they've spotted an enemy, warp to them immediately. That's what a uh, broadcast looks like in the fleet window. Have we got that? Okay, uh, basically anything that isn't one of us is an enemy. What I want you to do is pick an asteroid field out of, uh, out of the list and warp to it. And just keep warping around trying to find an enemy. If you see one, warp, uh, hit that button and uh, we'll all try to get it.
Now you'll see here that there's um, Serpentis patrollers here. Um, we can ignore those. Ignore them. Um, and you'll see that they didn't appear on the uh, overview either. That's, uh, that's what the PvP tab is for. It basically only allows you to see possible targets. So do try to make sure that you've got that set up. Unfortunately, it seems like uh, everyone in the fleet today um, is using the microphone for other purposes. Okay, just walk to the station. Oh, a core has got a uh, got something. Was that the Serpentis controllers? Okay, yeah, never mind then. Just walk, just walk to the station. Okay, it's probably a bad idea, but, um, oh crap, I forgot to set up my medical clone. Right, I'm docking up here for a second. Right, it might seem like a bad idea, but I'm going to hop into Mirawitam again. We're coming at it from a different angle, so hopefully I should escape the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the camp. If you want to warp to the Miruitum gate. Okay, be careful of that Ishtar. It might be able, it might want to try to pick up on you. If it does target you, jump straight through that gate. In fact, jump through the gate. It's clear. Okay, there's not many asteroid belts here, so I'm going to warp the squad around between us, uh, between each of them. So yes, uh, Squad Warp, um, you, you'll have seen it in a previous episode, but um, you'll notice that 
each of these will also be warping with me one of them got left behind for some reason um, but these guys have joined me um, the other guy will have will be following me um, basically it just keeps the fleet together um, so everything arrives in the same space at the same time just kind of makes things easier to manage so we need to wait for them to appear and we'll give it a five count one two three four five and we'll assume that they're out of warp now so we can swap squad So yes, um, Emily was asking about a warp scrambler, that's the warp scrambler there, I'm sure I've explained it to you before. Um, basically if you want to hold something down and beat on it, you need a warp scrambler. Right, no one in the asteroid fields, so I'm going to check the map, see where to go. Right, we're going to check two more systems, um, and if not, then um, if you guys are amenable to it, we can split into group of t uh, into two squads and shoot each other. Okay, warp to the Thelan Gate. Jump through. Maya's docked up, so we're going to head on to the next one. Okay, jump through. And walk to the Federal Freight Storage Station. Okay, the only person in here um, is Tanaka Reina, and it looks like they would smush a noob fleet. So, um, we're going to we're going to shoot each other. Not yet. Um, we're going to split into two teams of two. Uh, first of all, um, I figure me and Navigator versus Akora and Emily. Um, we align to a planet, 
and then when we're ready we warp to it I'll initiate a, a squad warp and then as soon as we've landed PvP starts how does that sound okay align to raw sins 3 tell me when you're at full speed or at least at warp speed we all up to speed Okay, we're underway. Uh, as soon as we drop out of warp, PvP is on. It's Akora and Emily versus Navi and I. And don't shoot pods. Well done, Emily. I'd have got you if I'd have put my guns on you. So that that's PvP. That was uh, kind of fun, actually. So yes, let's uh, let's check this out. Um, so you've got a global criminal countdown that lasts for 15 minutes, and Emily can attack me at will for the next 13, 14 minutes. Um, but you'll also see I took a security status hit. It wasn't that much of a security status hit? I will tell you that much. Um, where is the change? Um, yeah, I I can get that back running a few missions. That's that's fine, um, but otherwise not so much fun. Um, so uh, a quick word on the security thing. Um, quick word on security for the, those that don't know about it. The uh, global criminal countdown thing. Um, you've got red text in the corner. Uh, if you undock uh, or try to go anywhere near gate guns um, you're probably going to get attacked so you'll want to dock up for the next 15 minutes 
Um, if you want to walk back and get your loot, then go ahead and do it. Uh, yeah, don't go outside because your guns, your your ships will be exploded by the station guns. Stay docked. Station guns and. Uh, Gate guns won't attack your pod, but they will attack ships, so don't undock in anything that you don't want to lose. Well, I'm going to uh, pod surf back to high sec. Um, this is the route I'm taking. Um, Thalan Halliger to Bay. Yeah, apparently this is the quickest way. Um, I've lost a couple of ships. Um, one to a gate camp and one to uh, consensual PvP. Uh, that's not exactly what I intended, but it works. Um, but if I click down here on the combat log, you'll see I lost a couple more uh, Reapers. That's because the uh, sentry guns outside the station, which doesn't make me happy, but that's that's by the by. So uh, yeah, that's that's my first foray into PvP. Um, hopefully in the future I'll be in bigger ships and uh, I'll have more people to fly with. Um, if you've got a fleet and you think um, it'd be fun to have me along, get some uh, video out, then do invite me. Um, yeah, keep watching and if you've got something you think you would like to see in the videos, leave it in the comments or uh, send me an email and let's see what we can do um, and fly safe and don't fly whilst wearing women's underwear unless of course you're a woman because that would otherwise be silly